April 2nd, 2020, and welcome to episode 10 of YouTube Turtle TV. Today is World Autism Awareness Day, and just for that, I'm wearing my Autism Awareness shirt. I hope that you all enjoy today's episode of Turtle TV. Okay, for some of you who are looking for a more challenging unicorn or a more realistic unicorn to draw, I'm gonna show you how you can draw the head of a unicorn. It's gonna look a lot like a horse at first. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with small curved line. Connect that to a straight line that is going diagonally. and another curved line up. So two small curved lines connected with this straight diagonal line. This is gonna be the top of the unicorn's nose. I'm going to bring this line down and around. So I brought this in just a little bit and made a curved line down for the mouth curves up a little bit at the tip here. I'm going to connect the bottom part of the unicorn's mouth or jaw at about the middle of that line. I'm going to make a curved line that comes out of it, but not very much. It's going to stay pretty close to that line. And it's going to come up in the same direction. Curve just a little bit down right here. and then a bigger curve up. So now we've got the jaw and the nose of the unicorn. Um, just a little bit over from where the mouth ends, I'm gonna make a curved line down for the front of the neck. And leaving a little bit of space right here in between the um, edge of the jaw where we stopped, I am going to make a curved line back the other way for the other end of the um, unicorn's back, or back of their neck. I'm gonna add my horn right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna give the horn um, a curved bottom. They're not flat, they are rounded. I'm gonna make straight line up on a diagonal. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a curve at the top before I come on a diagonal line back to the bottom of my horn. If this line doesn't connect, like mine didn't, just go ahead and connect it. And I'm gonna draw a small curved line on the other side of that horn as if that head was continuing behind it. Where I stopped at the edge of this top part of the head, I'm going to draw a slight curved line. So I curved in towards the horn a little bit, away from the horn, and then back into the horn. Then I'm gonna draw a curved line that comes down. This is gonna be the front of my ear. From the point, I'm gonna draw a curved line that comes back around this way. So that's gonna be the front of my ear. Next, a little bit over from where I drew the tip of my ear, I'm gonna start and connect the bottom of my ear, curve in towards the horn. I'm gonna try to connect to the lines that I drew at the top of the jaw and the top of the back of the neck until I curve back out. This is gonna be part of the hair. Before I keep going on the hair, I wanna go back up and draw the other ear. So right above where we started this line, I'm gonna draw a curved line that comes down. It's gonna be below 
this ear. This ear is going to look higher because of the way that the head is sitting. This one is closer to us, so it's actually going to look closer. Then I'm going to draw a curved line down this way. Notice my line came longer than the edge of my first line. And I'm going to draw another curved line behind it that's going to be the outside of the ear. Right here towards the bottom of the ear, I'm going to draw a curved line that comes down. That's going to be part of the head that we'll see around the hair. Now, from the bottom of this ear, I'm going to take this bottom part of the ear and I'm going to make a curved line that comes down and out towards our other one. But I'm going to make a point for the hair. So I'm going to make a point and curve back up and then curve down to a point to connect to that line that we made there. The next line I'm gonna draw is gonna look as if this hair that goes behind this ear is going to continue around the head. So this is going to be a curved line that comes down and meets you back at the hair. The next piece of hair I'm gonna connect from this bottom point and I'm gonna make a curved line down. I'm not gonna connect it back to the head yet. Up a little bit from the base of the neck where we stopped, I'm gonna make another curved line that curves out and around. Next, I'm gonna draw a curved line over here that is gonna be the piece of the hair that we would see. So I'm gonna start a little bit over from where I started from that line of the neck, and I'm gonna curve in towards the neck, back out, and then back in towards the body. This little bump that I made here is for the outside nostril that we can't really see because it's on the other side of the head. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna draw a curved line up like this that would be the nostril on this side. And then right inside of that, I'm gonna draw kind of a swirly line that'll be our unicorn's nostril. Right under this part of the hair, I'm gonna draw a curved line for my unicorn's eye. Then I'm gonna draw a curved line in the other direction. It's the bottom part of the eye. Inside of that, I'll make a circle. And now I'm just gonna add a couple of small details and then you can add whatever else you might like. Um, I'm gonna add a little curved line above the eye, curved line at the bottom of the jaw, and two detail lines that go right here along the base of the neck. Um, you can add other details into the hair or the horn. You can try to continue on with the body or you can add any other kind of details around it. Hey turtles, it's Mrs. Locke. I've really been enjoying watching all of the videos you've been submitting to our Flipgrid page. Today, I would like to share one with you from our second grader, June, and then two celebrity guest videos from some of the staff at MM Pierce. We miss you and keep the videos coming. Baby, come give me something on. Oh. Baby, come.
come give me something on Cause I can't stop loving Baby, come give me something on Baby, come give me something on Today's quote submitted by Felicity Brown. Don't let the scary things in life prevent you from having fun. Thank you, Felicity. I think that's a great quote for the times that we're in right now. We'll sign off with our MM Pierce motto. I am respectful. I am responsible. I am turtle ready. Enjoy your day, turtles.